What's going on everyone? I'm Matt Zat and you're watching The Vanishing Ink Replay, an exclusive look at This Week in Magic. Kicking things off, we check in on Britain's Got Talent, where this week, magician and scientist Kevin Quantum was able to safely complete his death-defying fireball act despite some technical difficulties in the beginning. We've included a link to the video as well as an exclusive interview about the act that you're going to want to check out. Our friends Morgan and West also took a break from time traveling to continue their hilarious new web series, Miscellanea. They put up a brand new episode examining how magic tricks work in a way that only these spiffing chaps really could. We also have some news about news, because Vanishing Ink was featured in an article in AM New York this week discussing all the efforts we've put forth to give back to the magic community, from our Share Magic Live event to our Vanishing Ink Magic School. It also had a sneak preview of Joshua J's brand new release, Magic Mail. We're going to leave a link, make sure you give this one a read. Our highlight of the week is an extra special one because as magicians, we have the amazing ability to provide joy and entertainment during these difficult times. But for some magicians, performing a virtual magic show can be unchartered territory. That's why we are so happy to let you know about Lights, Camera, Magic. This comprehensive ebook covers everything you need to know to put on a professional quality virtual magic show. It covers everything from video and sound to lighting, scripting, trick selection, audience engagement, and so much more. If you're like us in performing virtual magic shows, you're absolutely going to want to check out Lights, Camera, Magic. Our trick of the week is an all new version of Cards in Bag, the innovative effect that was used to fool Penn and Teller. For the first time ever, you can get Cards in Bag with modern feel Jerry's Nugget playing cards. This amazing effect allows you to perform a variety of powerful routines. The spectators get to mix the cards fairly face up, face down, yet no matter what they do, you're able to make impossible predictions and revelations, all without any sleight of hand. You will not believe how easy it is to perform cards in bag. Joshua J also made a splash this week with his first mainstream public release book in years, Magic Mail. This stunning children's book combines two of his biggest passions, magic and traveling, and is perfect for any child in your life. The Magic Mail book itself is actually a gorgeous mailbox that goes right next to a child's bed. Every night, a postcard magically appears telling them about one of the amazing locations around the world Josh has traveled to while performing magic. Your kids will learn about culture and geography and, of course, experience a little magic. While Magic Mail is a mainstream release, we do have an exclusive offer available. Anyone who purchases their copy through Vanishing Ink can have it signed by Joshua J himself at absolutely no charge. This is only available through Vanishing Ink and quantities are limited. After a lengthy absence, Daniel Madison has finally partnered again with the United States Playing Card Company to introduce our deck of the week, Remedies Playing Cards. These beautifully simple and elegant playing cards were designed in collaboration with Daniel Schneider as part of his Black Roses playing card line and feature a ton of hidden secrets and built-in magic tricks, including an exclusive gaffe to perform one of Daniel Madison's most iconic tricks, Angle Z. Well, that's all we have for this week's Vanishing Ink Replay. When you're done here, head over to our blog and check out a new post from Ben Harris, as well as the first post in a brand new blog series from Steve Faulkner of Real Magic Review. You can also listen to a brand new episode of our podcast, The Insider, featuring David Kay, better known as Silly Billy. Thanks for tuning into this week's episode of the Vanishing Ink Replay. I'm Matt Zat, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>